Hi guys, today we will learn how to use ADC on ESP32. We will see how to interface potentiometer with ESP32. So without wasting any more further time, let's do this. So before we go into all this practical thing, first let's know what is ADC. So ADC means analog to digital converter, which means it converts analog values into digital values. In short, if we have any voltage level between 0 to 5 volt or 0 to 3.3 volt, say 2.5 volt. So ADC will convert that voltage level into some values. As for Arduino Uno, 2.5 volt means 511 or 512. Because our Uno reads 0 to 5 volt as in values ranges between 0 to 123. And on the other side, ESP32 can read analog values from 0 to 3.3 volt and gives output values ranging from 0 to 4095, where 0 is 0 volt and 4095 is 3.3 volt. So say if we are reading 2.5 volt, then the value on ESP32 will be somewhat near to 3102 or 3103. So let's see how to do this. For getting the analog values, the best thing to use is a potentiometer. We will connect one end of it to 3.3 volt and the other end pin to the ground. And center pin will give us a variable analog values ranging from 0 to 3.3 volt based on how we are rotating the potentiometer. And on the coding part, there is no such new thing. We gonna use analog read function as we previously used with Arduino Uno. The only difference is that we'll be using pin 34 of ESP32. And based on what board you have, analog pins or ADC pins on that board will vary accordingly. Since I have LoLin32 board, so I have 16 ADC pins on this thing. So let's upload the code and after uploading the code as you can see that whenever I rotate the potentiometer values are changing between 0 to 4095 as we have talked earlier which means 3.3 volt is divided into 4096 small values. So you should be able to read up to 0 0.8 millivolt. But in practical that is not the case because these ADCs on ESP32 they are not linear in behavior. For 3.3 volt or 3.2 volt it shows same values as 4095 and same for 0 and 0 0.1 volt it shows 0. But anyways this ADC is still better than Arduino Uno's. So have fun using ADC on your ESP32 and make awesome projects with it. And I'll see you guys in another video of mine. Till then, keep exploring. He drops out. Yeah.